This is a lat pull down and is an upper body machine weight exercise and includes a vertical pull. Make sure there is a safe surrounding. There is nothing on the floor that could be a health or safety hazard or anything blocking the accessibility of the machine. Next, make sure the machine is available. Then adjust the machine to an appropriate weight. You can do this by moving the pin out of the hole into a suitable weight hole. Now you need to see if the pads need adjusting. The pad above your knees moves up and down. You just need to position it so it's just touching your knees. Next, stand up to reach the bar with an overgrass pronate grip and your hands are balanced on each side. Then make sure your feet are flat on the ground, your spine is in neutral, with your back slightly leaned backwards, keeping the chest upwards and the core engaged at all times. Face your head forwards and chin parallel to the floor at all times. When pulling the weight down, lean at a slight angle and make sure your elbows don't go backwards. Keep elbows in line with your hips to get full contraction of all muscles, especially the lassius dorsi. It allows you to give more pulling power for more weight lifting. Pull the bar down in front of your chest to your pectoral muscles, exhaling during the whole movement. Hold the weight for a few seconds before entering the upwards phase. Controller B, inhaling. Go all the way up until your elbows are fully extended. Some variations for this exercise could be a banded lap pull down, which is more suitable for beginners, or a kneeling lap pull down, which is more suitable for advanced training. This variation would increase the range of motion even further, forcing the individual to need more stability and balance in the movement. The three main coaching points for this exercise is to make sure your shoulders don't go backwards, that the bar comes down in front of you and the grip is equally balanced either side. Three common errors to try and avoid for this exercise is one, leading back too far. This won't focus the workload on the muscles you want to strengthen and instead cause a jerkier movement and could cause acute injuries. Two, pulling the weight behind your neck. This is dangerous for your shoulders and your joints and your spine. Three, lifting your gluteus maximus off the seat. This can cause muscle strain and create a jerky movement, making it very possible to cause more injuries.